it's all the rage right now, so a lot of people think they have celiac disease. So what we do is we start with getting a good history, um, doing a good physical exam, and then we can advance to getting lab work. And then we have a lot of antibody testing that we can do. We can also do some genetic testing as well to see if you carry one or both of the genes. If you don't carry any of the genes, then you don't have celiac disease. Um, but if you carry one of the genes, you may or you may not have it um, because 20% of the population will have one of these genes and never get celiac disease. When we suspect about celiac disease, we do blood tests, which includes serology to celiac antibodies. So we do these tests, and then depending on the test results, we do further evaluation. And basically, we started with the serology, and then if serology positive is next test is doing endoscopy, which is the camera test that we put children under sedation and go in with the camera looking at their esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and taking tiny biopsies from their small intestine. An upper endoscopy is when you're asleep. It's a very um, simple procedure for the most part, it takes about 15, 20 minutes to actually do. Um, the patient is asleep and we take a, a scope that has a camera at the end and we actually go into the esophagus or the food pipe, advance our way through the stomach into the small intestine. And when we're in there, while we take pictures, we also take small tissue samples, which are called biopsies. Um, very small tissue bites, like the size of the ends of our hair. From that, we send it to the pathologist and we actually look at the tissue under the microscope to see how bad the damage is. So the next step is after we confirm with our biopsies that celiac disease is truly the culprit, um, we have you come back in and we sit down with our dietitian, who is Pam uh, Curitan, who's been doing this for over 20 years. Um, and we sit down and make sure that, first of all, the patient understands what celiac disease is and how to go about maintaining this gluten-free diet for the rest of the, their lives. It's not just a lifestyle. This is actually an autoimmune condition where they have to adhere to it to prevent complications in the future. Basically, once you're diagnosed with celiac disease, you have lifelong celiac disease. And the only treatment currently available is basically strict gluten-free diet.